everyone, I'm Julie and I have a super fun video for you today. We are getting our hands a little bit dirty with a little DIY project. I'm currently taking inventory of all the little projects that I can get my hand on to refresh the living room. One of the first projects that I'm gonna start on is repurposing a table lamp. You'll see behind me that we got a brand new Samsung TV with Alexa and I'm so excited to use it. Since we'll be working on a DIY project today, I'm gonna to use Alexa to do all of my prompts, my timers, which is really cool. The great thing about having this option directly on the television is that I could still be working on the DIY project while completely keeping hands free. You'll know from my previous videos that the entire home is souped up with Alexa, which is great because now my husband can link our television to all of the other devices in our home. And on the TV itself, we can change channels, adjust the volume, turn the TV off, and a lot more with only our voices. So let's get started on repurposing our lamp. We are going to be refinishing this old brass table lamp into a new finish. The finish I love now is almost like a clay inspired finish. For this project, you'll need paint in the color of your choice. I'll be using white paint and this paint is called peanut butter because I'm trying to inject the whites with a little bit more beiges to warm it up. You'll need baking soda for this project to mix in with the paint so it gives you that kind of clay-like texture. We'll also be recovering the lamp shade just to kind of give it a fresh update, but right now we'll be working on the base first. Before you start refinishing the lamp, you wanna give it a really good clean before depositing any finish on it or else the finish will chip. And using a medium grit sanding block, you're just going to give the portions that you're painting a little bit of a light sanding. Sanding the base will give the new finish something to adhere to. Now we're ready to prep our base for painting. I'll be using painter's tape to tape off the portions that I don't want painted. Now that the base is all taped up, we are ready for paint. Anytime you're dealing with paint or a potentially toxic material, you always want to use gloves. It just gives you that extra added layer of protection. I'll be using white paint mixed in with a little peanut butter color. And anytime you're adding a little bit of additive color, you always want to start with less because clearly you can add more. And let's mix that up. We're adding the baking soda so that the paint has a little bit of texture and it'll almost look like clay by the time we're done with it. I'll be starting from the bottom up. You want to work with really light strokes so the first coat of paint isn't applied too heavily. So our first coat is done. So while waiting for this coat to dry, we'll move on to the next step of our DIY project. Alexa, set timer, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Alexa, stop. I'm loving this texture on here. It's almost a sandy, gritty finish, which I love. The thing that I'm not loving so much is the color. All I have to do is get a second coat on here with the desired color, which in this case, I'll probably just add a little bit more white. Mix it in with a little bit more baking soda. And what we'll get is this really beautiful gritty finish as our top coat. This second coat needs to dry for an additional 20 minutes and let's see what it looks like with our finished lampshade. For this next portion of the project, we will be recovering the old lampshade. So the first step that you have to do is lay out the fabric. You always want to use the back side of the fabric just in case you make any marks, then they're not easily seen on the front. And instead of measuring the lampshade and the fabric, you literally could just lay the lampshade on the fabric and make your marks there. Give it a little bit of overage so that your fabric can cover the lip of the shade. Using a pen, I'll be making my mark. And then you'll just be cutting the seam right along this mark. So now we have our fabric strip cut out and we're ready to spray adhesive on this to roll it right over the old lampshade. The adhesive finish helps bond the new fabric to the old shade. You don't have to use a whole lot because fabric adhesive is really sticky. Then you simply want to roll the shade right over the fabric. You'll roll the drum around and make sure that your fabric is tight and taut before you cut off the excess. Triple check your measurements and see how much fabric you need to cut I usually just eyeball this measurement and cut right below the binding. Then you'll simply spray this fabric portion on the inside, leaving the exposed binding on the out. You can also tuck the binding right underneath if you want a more finished edge. 
With a hot glue gun, it's best if you work really fast in small sections so the glue doesn't dry. You want to apply the glue directly onto the outer portion of the edge. And with your fingers, simply press that in. Okay, so let's inspect our work. Make sure that the fabric is nice and flat. We are finally done with this portion of the project. I love the way this fabric looks like on our old lampshades. So really just shop your home, guys. Look for textiles that you already have in the home because clearly since you've sourced it once, you probably love it, but it's just looking for a brand new home. I can't wait to place this lampshade on our painted base. So let's go in and see how it looks. Our second coat is finally dry. This is so pretty. So let's pull the tape off and see the final results. I love the way it looks. It's just such a chic, modern update to the space. I wanted something slightly vintage, a little bit eclectic, and I love the two-tone finish. Remember that these little DIY projects are so easy to do at home. I was able to be really efficient with my time with the help of Alexa. I finished this project in just under an hour. Now I'm ready to place my refinished lamp in my refreshed living room, and I can't wait to see how it all comes together. I hope you guys got some really good inspiration for your next DIY project. Remember to always shop your home first to breathe new life into old favorites. 